everyone, welcome back and thanks for joining us. Welcome to another episode of Around Town with Laurel Board of Trade. Where here we shine a spotlight on some of our amazing members. They're local, they're here, they're everywhere, and their businesses are right here in our community. If you're a member, you too have an opportunity to be in the spotlight. I'm Carla Conway, your host, and I'm the creative director with Uncommon Design, and also I'm one of the directors for the Laurel Board of Trade. So let me tell you something, who out there doesn't love a taco? And they're just delicious. So whether it's Taco Tuesday, Cinco de Maya, or just another weeknight, tacos can show up on your kitchen table, and I wanna tell you the perfect place to go to get them. They're amazing, they won't disappoint, and they're closer than you think. So today I'm here with Ginger Reeves. Ginger runs Tucan Taco. Okay, okay so I've got a salmon. And that's one of um, Laurel's favorite Mexican restaurants. So welcome, and we're so glad you're here with us. Thank you so much. So tell me a little bit about how long that Tucan Taco has been right here in Laurel. We just celebrated 50 years in the same location. Mm -hmm. So right up the street on Gorman Avenue. Okay, so for some of those newbies out there, and there may be a few, um, tell us a little bit about, just a brief history about the restaurant. Well, my parents bought it in 1972, basically to put three kids through college. Mm -hmm. So they ran that for 35 years, and then I took over in 2008 because they wanted to retire. Okay, and are they enjoying retirement? They seem to be enjoying it quite well, yes. Okay, all right. So now I want you to tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind the name Tucan Taco, because I think there's a really fun story there. There is a fun story. It actually was part of the Tippies franchise originally, so okay. they had a 20-year contract, mm -hmm. which was up in 1992, and then they had to choose a new name, of course, and get new signage, and since my parents' last name, Payerly, was a little hard to pronounce for mm -hmm. the employees. They just called my parents Mr. and Mrs. T for Mr. Tippy, Mrs. Okay. Tippy. So they had to focus on something that was also a T starting name. Okay. And we had a pet toucan when I was a kid growing up when you can mm -hmm. have more exotic pets than I think you can now. Yeah. So they named them that named the business Toucan Taco. Okay, that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. When I was at University of Maryland, I remember Tippy's Taco mm -hmm. and that's the go-to place for us. Yes. Um so um what is the story behind your queso? Because it's so amazing, and I've also heard it described as liquid gold. So share why it's so addictive. Quality ingredients, number one. We just don't buy the cheapest cheese out there. Buy a very good quality American cheese. Okay. And that's the basis of it. Okay. Can't tell you anymore. Okay, sounds good, <laughs> sounds good. So I heard that the Washington Post um, they uh, did a dining review and they described your tacos as a taco that is pure taco. So now tell me, when you're describing like what makes the perfect taco, what is it? Really good quality ingredients, a hundred percent. Okay. Do not skimp. So there's no magic wand? Or... No magic wand. Okay, alrighty. Um, so I know it's not just about tacos right. at, at Tucan Taco. So what are some of the other um, fan favorites that, that people just absolutely love? The queso for sure. Yes. Tacos second, I would guess. Mm -hmm. Burritos are quite delicious. The okay. enchiladas are also quite popular. Okay. It all is a personal preference. Some okay. people like something that's crunchy. Some people like something that's a little soft, a little spicy. Some people don't want any spice, so we mm -hmm. have to sort of guide them. Now what's the thing mm -hmm. that you put, it's like a um, it's like a crunchy and a soft. Do you have that? Is there a special name for that? Something like that? Where it's layered? Probably, the en you know, something with the enchiladas and the beans mm -hmm. and rice, you'll get a little bit of, yeah. That sounds mm -hmm. good, that yeah. sounds good. So another question I was curious about, for those people that are planning parties, do you do any kind of catering? We don't do catering per se, but you can buy everything in bulk. Okay. So you can get the meat in a pint container, you can get beans, rice, everything separated out, and then you can have your own party your way. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. So there you go, you heard it. If you've got something coming up, she's your go-to person. So where can people go to learn more about you and just really just support you? Come right to the restaurant. Okay, and where is that mm -hmm. located? 315 Gorman Avenue, which is also um, Route 198. Okay, sounds good. Um, and is there a final thought that you would like to leave our listeners with? Just come in and try us. One time, if it's not your thing, we're not offended. 
but I know that if they try, they'll be coming back because yes. they're amazing. Well, Ginger, thank you so much for joining us. We are so glad that you're a member in the Laurel Board of Trade. We want to support you, and we loved having you and learning more about your business. Thank you, Carla. Bless you. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you have a business and would like to be featured, please reach out to me. I'd love to get to know you and promote as many Laurel Board of Trade members and their businesses. Send us a message. Go to our website, laurelboardoftrade.org. Also on our website, you can learn more about the Laurel Board of Trade and all the benefits and the many events that we sponsor. We invite you to join our powerful mix of business leaders and expand your network. So one thing, every third Thursday of the month, join us for our online business networking. We meet from 12.15 to 1.30. We're still meeting up virtually on Zoom. Remember our tagline, small business, big ideas. The Laurel Board of Trade is an amazing resource and asset to our community. For more information, feel free to check us out on Facebook or go to our website, laurelboardoftrade.org. Remember, shop local. That's a wrap from the Laurel Board of Trade. I'll see you next time.